Hi guys and welcome to Maslow Academy. For today's topic, we've got economic growth. Uh, our question is, does economic growth generate inequality between the poor and the rich? And the answer is affirmative. <laughs> Okay, there are 196 countries in the world, which 25 of them are really rich, where the average wage per year is around 100,000, while the 171 left are poor or really poor, where the average wage is around 1,000 per year. Okay, first of all, we have to know what two main terms mean. First one, what does economic growth mean? Economic growth is an increase in a country's productive capacity measured by a comparison between the gross national product of the year X and the year before. This is usually caused by an increase in the capital stock, advances in technology or an improvement in the quality of education. So the next term we have to discuss is GNP. What is GNP? GNP stands for Gross National Product. The GNP measures the total monetary value of the total output produced by a country's residents. So, this means that any output produced by foreign residents within the country cannot be calculated within the GNP, while any other output produced by the country's residents outside of these borders has to be calculated. For example, El Banco Santander. Talking about El Banco Santander, someone who works for El Banco Santander outside of Spain has to be calculated inside Spain's GNP. Meanwhile, someone working inside Spain who is not from Spain cannot be calculated in, in Spain's GNP. GNP, however, does not include intermediary goods and services to avoid double counting since they are already incorporated in the value of final products and services. Mr. Guillermo? Yes, Diego? What are the arguments that economic growth generates inequality between the poor and the rich? Yes, Diego, my colleague Carlota can answer that question. Okay, so as we said before, due to economic growth, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You understood that, right? So now we're going to go into the arguments. Okay, so to um, go further into detail, we will give you a clear example. For example, um, their economic growth of a 5% for a medium wage worker who has a salary of 50,000 per year, would be an increment of $2,500. While a 5% in the economic growth for a worker who just earns the minimum wage of 9,900 a year, would be 495. As you can see between these two prices, there is a, there's a big difference. Therefore, it creates a massive inequality between a high rich people, the rich people and the low income, which are the poor people. Mr. Guillermo. Yes, Adriana. Does this technology have any relation with this inequality? Of course, Adriana. Due to economic growth, traditional and normally poor business get obsolete because of the advances in technology, making higher inequalities between richer businesses, which are normally more modern and can include these new technological advances. To wrap up, me and, Car and my colleague uh, Guillermo, we would like to say that people working in top paying jobs experience an increase in their salaries, while low paid workers experience a decrease in their salaries as it is shown in the model uh, we have here. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow our YouTube channel. Thank, thank you, Master Academy. Academy. Now we understand economic growth. Is that a good one, Diana? Or Orange? Or Ponies? Yeah.